Ukraine now wants to punish India and it is asking the US to put sanctions on New Delhi because Indian companies are still buying a lot of Russian energy. Well, two days ago, the US responded in what came as a rude shock for the war-torn nation. Hi and welcome, you're watching Outright, we tell you the right side of the story. Subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon for such Outright videos. A senior lawmaker from Ukraine, who also happens to be the head of the Foreign Affairs Committee in Ukraine's parliament, Alexander Marezko, last week landed in US. His agenda was clear. He wanted the US to impose sanctions on China as well as India, the two biggest buyers of Russian oil. He urged the American authorities to trigger secondary sanctions to block Indian buyers from buying Russian oil and gas. He said, they should be consistent. This is a global conflict between democracy, the free world, and authoritarian regimes. There should not be any compromise because of material economic interests. Well, Ukraine's anger against India is understandable. After all, India has done every possible thing to insulate the Russian economy from Western sanctions in order to save its own economic interests. India bought oil from Russia because it was very cheap. There is no moral conflict. I mean, somebody wants to take an ideological position. Well, but we, we don't buy from X or Y. We buy whatever is available and I don't do the buying. It's the oil companies who Let's do the buying. Let's be quite clear about this. Um, India is a backdoor into Europe for Russian oil at the moment. You're talking I, about the, hang on, hang on, let me just finish. You're talking about the oil that comes in and is and is used for, and you say there's no, no moral issue with this in, 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 in providing energy for 1.4 billion uh, people. But, but let's be quite clear. Russian oil is imported, it is refined, and then it is exported to Europe. Sir. Not, that, not, that, was, that, was done by, that was done by some private sector companies, not by the OMCs. Where, who buys Russian oil, where it is refined, etc. No, no, there's no question. Of, I, I have no, uh, we have nothing to do with that. First of all, the government doesn't do the buying. Let me mm. be very clear. Oil trade is conducted by economic entities. Mm -hmm. And now the partnership between Russia and India is going to get even stronger. Russia's largest LNG producer, Novatek is close to reaching a deal to supply gas to Gale, India's leading natural gas company. India's Gale is looking to heal its own wounds. Its profit sank 93% last year as a result of disrupted supply from a former unit of Russian giant Gazprom. Gale used to receive gas from the German branch of Gazprom, which was nationalized by Berlin, leaving supplies to India in jeopardy. Ukraine is worried that the upcoming energy deals between Russia and India would essentially neutralize the Western sanctions. So, Ukraine is now trying its luck against India. But soon it realized it was merely punching above its weight. The US categorically refused to put any sanction on India. Speaking at a press briefing, senior US diplomat Karen Donfried made it clear that America was not looking to sanction India for its purchases of Russian oil. Don Fried said, I want to be clear, we are not looking to sanction India. Our partnership with India is one of our most consequential relationships. Ukraine must realize the partnership between India and Russia is not subject to how the US perceives it. It is driven by ultimate national interests. Instead of threatening India, Kyiv should ideally focus on getting India's help to stop the war in Ukraine as soon as possible. 